Welcome to Art with Miss Davis and happy Veterans Day. Today we will be honoring those who served in the military. How do artists show gratitude in their work? Well, let's check it out. Today, this artist <clears throat> drew around her hand and she drew little stripes in here and colored it in with crayon. The only supplies that you'll really need today will be pencil, crayon, glue, and if you decide to do this project, you will need a small piece of cardboard. Now, what we do is we are going to have one person that is going to pick up all the glues and put them back at the end of class, and we're going to have one person that will pick up all the scissors at the end of the class and vice versa. They will be putting the glue on your table and they will be putting one small scissor in front of your table. And you're allowed to have one string to start with. The first thing that you wanna do on this one is you wanna make sure that you have your name and teacher on the back of it so that we know where it goes. So you want, I'm gonna put Davis. And if you're fourth grade, Miss Sleek, you want to do sleek, okay? There we go, and a four by it, okay? And that will tell us where that this belongs to you. Now, this is part of a two-day project, so check it out. This won't matter that there is anything on it like that. And what I like to do, guys, is I like to kind of draw with the glue. So you might want to put like a messy mat underneath this, and a messy mat would be like a piece of large piece of paper. Say that there's something over on the rack like this. Excuse me, guys, that's what you would use, right? <clears throat> so, here we go. I think I like this one because it has the imperfections. Now, the first thing you wanna do is, you wanna go ahead and go over this like this. Just do straight lines, one, two. This can be very relaxing, actually. Okay, you don't have to be perfect to make art. All you have to do is try, but remember, guys, if you make a mistake, it's really an opportunity to use your creativity, oops, and make something else, right? Okay, so, so far I've got that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I need one string, because what I'll be doing is I will probably be cutting it. So, uh, my friends, I'm gonna have one person drop this off mm -hmm. so that you can have one string at a time. Now what you want to do is just put these on like that, check it out, and it's so easy when it's one direction. And then what you'll do is just trim it. Don't think you have to be perfect. You really don't, right? Because we're not even going to see this later. You might want to press it down, it might be a little gluey, so, but that's okay because we're going to wipe our hands a little bit. Okay, here we go. And I would start maybe on this end so that you have more. And you're just going to fill it like this. Okay? Trim it a little bit. Make sure that that stays on like that. Okay, and then once you have filled all of this with strings, you will have a little piece of cardboard that you can put over here that's gonna look great, okay? Check it out. So you really need two pieces of cardboard. A little tiny one. And you need one that is a little bit bigger. You might move it around a little bit, but don't worry, because we have those wipes. Just remember, guys, when we're picking this up, if it has glue on it, on the yarn, we're not gonna use that again. We don't wanna put that back in the bin um, because we don't want glue, glue materials. And we're taking care of people and we're taking care of our studio. When we do that, you think about the next guy that's gonna be in here or the next girl. Okay, check it out. Let's go. Now the last part would be gluing this on here. This is fun. Dot, dot, not a lock. Put it right on top. And this is kind of cool. Uh, to make a star, you could either do one like this where you have things like this on it you know, where you just cross lines over, you know, one vertical, one horizontal, one diagonal line like that, or you can do zigzags. But I would practice a little bit, just make these zig zigzags are like that. But if you're gonna go around in a circle, sometimes it takes a little bit of practice and don't worry if you mess up, right? 
it doesn't matter because we're not doing art to be perfect. We're just trying some new things, that's all. I might even suggest that you start, whoops, there goes a broken crayon, that's okay. We keep all these because we'll probably melt them down using the teak later. All right, now, you know what I think I'm gonna do just to show you, to be on the safe side? I'm just gonna do the one that goes like this. Vertical, horizontal, diagonal, right, diagonal. Check it out, that looks pretty good. But I could have done the other one which would have been like this. Um, I would have drawn it first, probably done the zigzag, because it's like a triangle. Triangle here, zigzag, 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 right? These are not easy to make, guys. And then what you wanna do is just go very lightly, like this, right? Because you don't want it looking like a blob, really. We're gonna go over this later, but I think that looks okay. And you just need one, two, three, four dots and put it in the corner. Okay. Now, when it is time for us to go, all you have to do is you're gonna pick up your messy mat and walk your messy mat to the back and slide it in, it'll be safe. If you have time, you could do another one too. Um, I would do, but I would make it larger or smaller. And these are gonna be great when they dry. Next week when they're all dry, we, what we're gonna do is we will um, cover them with aluminum foil and we'll have markers where we're gonna color it in with markers and they look really beautiful. They actually look like gold and silver. Okay guys, have fun with your Veterans Day project and thank you to the parents of the students here. We thank you so much for your service and we're really looking forward to um, hearing your Veterans Day song too. Okay guys, take care. Thank you.